the journey. So, source documents. From the source documents, we are supposed to record in the books of original entry, which is the journal. This is what we are going to do now. <clears throat> we have already discussed the rules of journalizing, both traditional approach as well as accounting equation approach. We, could, we can follow either of the methods. Our conclusion, our entries will be the same. So we know how to pass entries, but where is this entry passed? It is first passed in the journal. So all accounting transactions, all accounting, all, all economic transactions, financial transactions, business transactions are recorded first, first in the journal, the book of original entry. So now we are going to discuss how the journal is, is prepared following of course the rules of journalizing which we have already discussed. <clears throat> what is a journal? A book like I said is a journal is like I said a book of original entry. Book of original entry. Why is it called a book of original entry? Because all transactions are first recorded in this in the journal. First recorded in the journal. Book of original entry. How are they recorded? All business transactions are recorded in a chronological order, date wise. Today's transactions, then tomorrow's, then day afters and so on and so forth. Chronological order. <clears throat> this journal book has the date. So we will know the date of the transaction. Has a particulars column. What do we write in the particulars column? We write the account to be debit, debit account and the account to be credited. Debit account and the credit account. There is a way in which we write. We will discuss that. We will come to the format. But just to understand that the journal is a book of original entry where all business transactions are first recorded in a chronological manner. The date of the transaction, the particulars meaning the debit, the account to be debit, debited, the account to be credited and a small note, what is called a small narration explaining the transaction is entered in a particular column. We also have something here called the ledger folio. Actually, the transactions, once they are entered in the journal, they are then classified in what is called the ledger. And ledger folio is nothing but the reference, reference of that page number. Folio is a page, page number of the particular ledger account to which this transaction is going to be posted, is going to be related, going to be linked. <clears throat> we also have Two columns, one is a debit column and one is a de credit column. So when an account is debited, the amount by which that account is debited is entered in the debit column and the amount by which an account is credited is entered in the credit column. Narration, like I said, is an explanation of the transaction which appears in the particulars column itself. So what is a journal? A journal is a book of original entry wherein all business transactions are first recorded and in a chronological manner in the format 